Hey guys, it's uh, 28th of January. Uh, kind of been away for a while. Some of you guys are probably wondering where I've been, and others probably not. <laughs> anyway, um, just uh, a lot going on, you know. I had a, a close family member pass away here recently, and um, but anyway, they're in a better place. I think it's been a couple months since I've been in the river. I'm up here at the fish dam site. The water is, is, is up quite a bit. The water's running really clear. It's pretty. Um, I just thought I'd come out. It's a pretty nice afternoon here in northeast Georgia. It's about 50. Probably about 45 here down on the river. But um, anyway, I, I looked down the gravel bar down here and um, it's been, we've had a lot of rain. And we've had quite a few big flushes. Uh, river's been out of its banks a few times, and I thought it'd be a good time to come down and look. And there, there's a lot, um, a lot I left in the water. Um, nothing really unusual, but a lot of the same things I find. Um, but I thought we'd go over what I, what I've kind of put in the bucket here. A little grinding stone here. Surface is worn all the way off this thing. I'm sure this piece is discarded. But one time it was a nice tool. They had shaped it really nice and polished it. Knocked it out. Until like that. We'll put that one back in the river though. That, 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 say that grinding surface has come completely off this thing. So, um, anyway, it's not really an really artifact. A little piece of granite, chopping stone. I've seen these get things before, any of you guys have followed me. You see where they've chipped it out. They're just, it's just a granite chopped stone. He held, he held it probably like that, I don't know. Just chopped nuts and grains. And this piece here, I'm not 100% sure. I think it's a type of pestle. Um, you see where it's really, really worn on this end here. I'm going to groove it out right here. I don't know. It might have been held like this. And this kind of uses a pestle. It's solid material. It blue granite. Got a whole bucket full of stuff. Got a lot of, a lot of little polishing pieces. There's a ton of small stuff in the, in the river. I think this, uh, you see the edges have been all pecked out on this piece here. Oh, oh well. <laughs> see another chopping stone. You see the edges really worn there. We worked this thing down, beveled it down. We're not in that bad of shape. A piece of quartzite here, really nice, pretty nice grinding stone, good shape. I've been running across a, one of these flat rocks out here. These, you've seen those two, these big four or five foot flat pieces of granite that they use to grind their uh, grains and nuts into a powder. Make tortillas out of the stain there. You think it's been held like that. 
pretty nice little piece there. A lot of small stuff. This is a little port quartz piece there. Just a little, little polishing piece there. That's a polishing surface. And I'll chip down around the edges. A little grinder here, grinding stain. And all chipped out there, polished. See the chipping work on the sides. And held like that, that's not a bad piece. Let's see what else. I got a big grinder in here. You know, I'm on a quest to save big grinders, so there's one here. And it's, you know, the grinding surface is not too great, really worn, but um, anyway, shaped pretty well. Notched out, polished. I've been held like that. A lot of wear on it. I don't know. I, I guess I'll take that home. Let's see where this has been did it out right in here and you look at this piece you might hear you know what the heck they use this for right that's a polishing piece there's a polishing surface on here the finger lay right in here that's actually a really well worked piece and i've got i've got quite a few of these you guys have seen them at home um, Polishing stone. I use these stones just to work other tools, polish them down. Let's see what else I got in here. Got the blue granite piece there. Grinder, a little small grinder. Could have been a child to use that. Got a hammer stone in here that I want to show you if I can find it. You might not think it is, but it is a hammer stone. Oh, this one here. This is actually a nutting stone. See how it's cupped out here? Got a notch in it right there. A little chipped all around the sides there. I hold that like that and then just strike nuts with it. Probably small nuts like aprons, chestnuts. And possibly walnuts, small walnuts maybe. This pottery trowel here, it's a nice one. Used to form pottery. It's an old piece there. Another polishing piece. See how it's grooved on both sides. So you can hold it with your fingers. Where is that hammer stone? <laughs> I may have put it down somewhere. Thought about it. There you go. 
Okay, here's a here's a bird stone. Don't find a whole lot of these. Type of tool, and I, I I never really quite figured out what I call them bird stones because they all look like. I don't know, uniface birds. That was one of the first things I found today. I guess I put that hammer stone down. And, oh, I know where it is. <laughs> it's in my pocket. <laughs> Let me get it out if I can find it. Oh, that's not it. Well, anyway, we'll see if I can find it. This is not it. This is a greenstone. But they have really ground that down right in here. They use that for something. I don't know. They powder, make a powder out of it. I don't know if it's a this will use or what exactly but uh just about every piece of greenstone i pick up it's it's been ground or polished or pieces taken off of it but ground down Well, that's about all I got today, guys. I'm, I'm struggling with a little condition called Raynaud's syndrome, and it makes it really painful to put your hands in cold water. And um, I've been struggling with it for, uh, I guess, 15 years, and you guys may have it. But um, that's another reason I haven't been out much here this winter. It's just uh, it's just so painful. Um, it's a capillary that your capillaries close off for whatever reason. Um, my daughter had it uh, when she was in her teens. Kind of comes and goes, but uh, I've been fighting it for about three months now. Usually after you know, I may have it for a month and it'll go away, but. back behind me is Indian Mound back here and um, one thing I thought I'd talk about too um, there's several sites that I, I hunt that that have mounds that are adjacent to the to the river and um, not all of them are, um, are very fruitful um, one about uh, two miles down the river here uh, Actually got a mound and earthworks, and, and uh, I, I got access to that's actually on my father-in-law's property. But um, we really never have found much. It's kind of interesting that uh, some of these places you would think would uh, have a lot of artifacts, but uh, they don't. So that that is a uh, I could go almost anywhere on this branch and find stuff, but that runs into another river system and. Just never have really found anything down there. So they're not all just because they got mounds or uh, earthworks or you know, signs that you would really think that uh, would be productive. They're not all productive. I think it more ha has more to do with the, the camps, you know, the land where they can really have good camps on. This this is a real gentle slope right here and. Um, there were camps all up along here, and then the mound is right here. I can't be able to see a little bit of the top of it, but let me go up the river and maybe you can get a better look at it.
that <clears throat> that's it there. You can see a little bit better from the other side, but all right, guys, I'm gonna sign out. It's kind of a long video. I hope you guys are doing well, and maybe I can do a few more here for too long and. We'll um, see what we can pull out here if we can find some more nice days. Have a good one, guys.